Hi everyone, welcome to Odd Talk with Stephen Tickenen. A uh, couple of little things before I start. First of all, I'd like to thank Andrew Rajivan for telling me to go from um, portrait to landscape. So this is my first landscape. And secondly, I'd like to uh, just address a, a uh, statement by my good mate Martin Harlow, who's located in South Australia and is currently getting Keanu Elliott prepared for the uh, 2020 games. Uh, Marty made a point in a comment to me that um, if you have a look at the Bulgarians, the Russians, the Germans and their Bundesliga and so forth, they all certainly have particular techniques. And that's true. And again, that goes to my point. Each of these uh, countries that I just mentioned, the Russians, the Bulgarians and the Germans in their Bundesliga, have different techniques and they all work so again it's more about the system rather than working on a particular thing if you keep to some basic fundamentals everyone will work on their particular technique when you're in a system that is run by the state uh, or the nation state being the nation then you will see that there will be a dominant type of technique because there is a head coach for that country that determines what happens as far as technique is concerned. So I think I addressed that as far as uh, Marty's statement is concerned. The next thing I'd like to talk about today is uh, intensity. How intense do you write a program? What, what, what intensity patterns do you go through? There are percentages that we can work off. There is RPE, rate of perceived exertion, to name just a couple. Um, I personally look at, uh, I've moved away, let me put it that way, I've moved away from, I tried RPE, I didn't like it. I then moved towards the um, percentages and I've used percentages for a very long time. I've now abandoned that as well, in a way. So what I, uh, tell my lifters is that they will have heavy, medium and light days. So if we use a typical five day training cycle um, with Friday being the heavy day, um, we can then work around that. So let's use that as an example. So Friday is the heavy day. Now I always count the heavy day as a hundred percent. Okay, a medium day is 90% of the heavy day and a light day is 80% of the heavy day. Now you may determine that for your athletes in this particular week that you want them to train at 80% on the Friday. So well, that's the heavy day, 80%. So on their uh, medium days, they will do 90% of 80%, which is actually 72%. And then if you do the light day, that's 80% of 80%. So that's 64%. So therefore, you come into the gym, you've got your heavy day on the Friday. So the Saturday, the next training session will be a light day. The Monday will be a medium day. The Tuesday will be a uh, light day. And the Wednesday will be another medium day. Then Thursday off. You also had uh, Sunday off as well. We can start like that, and then we can move on as we get closer to competitions and so forth. We can again make the Friday the heavy day. So let's say that's a 90% day. So your medium day will be 90% of 90%, which is equal to 81, and 90% uh, of 80 is 72. So therefore, you're going to train through those ranges. So again, using, uh, as we get closer to competition, using the Friday, which is commonly used, but doesn't have to be, but I'm just using it as an example, the Friday being the heavy day. So you do a heavy day on the uh, Friday, you then do a light day on the Saturday, you then have the Sunday off. You then do another heavy day on the Monday, because it's 72 hours, post the he other heavy day on the Friday. Then you do a light day on the Tuesday, and then again you do a medium day on the Wednesday, and you have Thursday off. 
um, whether you give someone percentages or whatever, people really are, even though I said I've abandoned using RPE, people really use their own RPE on that particular day. So you may write a program, athlete comes in, athlete finds that the session is really, really easy. Of course you're going to let them go up. Not too much, but you're, let, you're going to let them go up. If the session is hard, you're going to, of course you're going to let the athlete go down a little bit in their weight. So that's RPE. The athlete is determining that this session that has been written is either too easy or too hard. And I generally allow the athlete to go up about 5%. So it's not it's not too much more it's not too much more that they can go up. That way we have a controlled situation. So when we get ready and we're doing a periodization plan, getting ready for a competition, that we don't peak too early. We don't peak um, a couple of weeks out before the competition. I'll talk about peaking and so forth at a later time. But anyway, that's how I look at intensity. You have a 100% day, a 90% day, and an 80% day, then being a heavy day, a medium day, and a light day. You determine whatever that 100% day is, the heavy day, and as I used an example before, 80% or 90%, you then do the 90% of the 80% and the 90% of the 90% and so forth. Um, I don't think that's very confusing. I think you can work that out. So that's the way I look at things and that's the way I, I program the athletes that are with us. So if you want to ask me any questions, email me at um, coach at oddsocks.com.au and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.